Hey Libra. Hope you guys are having a good day so far. So this is gonna be a midday reading. So it's what's I have the Shadowland. I have a few decks out here, so I'm gonna pull out some cards from my Shadowland. Um Lenormand, um, pick up some energies. Here I do have my Kipper and my Hungarian Gypsy deck and my Wizard's Tarot. So I'm gonna start off with this one. Okay. Oh jeez, the tower. Okay. The tower wanted to flip out, so maybe that's there's something that that you're seeing happening around you. Let's see. What's the message for Libra? What's the message for Libra? Got fish. This came out the other day for us too. So it's you know something about work, something about business, something that you're learning. Maybe you guys are learning something new. Um, could be a new position. I've been saying that that has been coming up a lot for us too. So there's some opportunities coming. I feel like maybe there's people um, having a meeting about you like i said it could be promotion or it could or this could be you just learning um something new something new about your business um or just taking out some classes so opportunity they all have business attire with suitcases i mentioned that before so <clears throat> let's see what else that's awesome That's awesome. Okay. We got mice. You guys could have people in your workplace. Maybe trying to sabotage. Maybe trying to maybe trying to say that the work you put in is because of them. It's something with the work because if you notice with the mice, there's two headed mouses here. You know, we already know what mice can do. They, you know, they tear up your home. They eat your trash. So maybe someone at work is trying to sabotage your name, your work ethics. Yeah, with the ship, look how the squid is it is trying to raise the boat so it can flip over. So be aware of of who you guys call your friend at work. This could be someone trying to portray that they are your friend, but they're really throwing you under the bus. More. What else with this fish and mice? I can't make it up. It could be a man. But look at the snake. See how this person here is sitting on a bench reading a book where they're working and they have this snake behind them. I can't make this up, guys. There's someone in your workplace definitely throwing you under the bus. Throwing you under the bus. And it could be a male, a masculine energy here. I mean, a woman can hold a masculine energy as well. So just keep, you know, just keep an eye out. You guys probably already know who this is. Lord, what is happening? I just feel like they see in you getting ahead. You could be bonusing, you could, you know, 
are going for a new position and they're just not liking that. Maybe they're, you know, they're wanting that position and they're just throwing you under the bus. That's all I'm getting. They're throwing you under the bus. So, you know, watch out who you tell your business to. Because, yeah. There's someone there definitely talking smack about you, Libra. Let's see. Let's pick up some energies. What's the energy for Toronto, Libra? Yeah. Because you're on the right path. You're on the right path. And they're not liking this blow up. They're not liking you leveling up. That's just so weird. You see these orbs here? Those are your spirit team. They're supporting you and they are behind the scenes fighting for you, best believe. Because you guys are on the right path. You guys are on the right path. So just be aware. Use your discernment. You know what I'm saying? And just let your, you know, your spirit guides handle that situation because there's some injustice going on here. What else do I want to need from? Oof. What's the energy surrounding me, bro? <clears throat> yeah, like I said, don't worry about it. You just keep doing you. Keep resting, keep rejuvenating, keep your spirits up, keep your energy clean. Because look, opportunities are opening. Doors are opening for you, regardless of what the snake is trying to do. It's funny because look at the snake and the mouse. Snakes eat mice. Two-faced in is what I'm getting. It could be a group of three, I'm not sure, but yeah, you just maintain level-headed, grounded. You just keep looking forward, keep doing what you're doing at work. Opportunities are opening. Your work is not going unnoticed. Yeah, Spirit is making sure that these opportunities are yours regardless of what anyone is trying to say, weirdos. What is going on? <laughs> Listen, some truth is going to be revealed. I, I won't even worry too much about it. Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Return back to sender. Mm -mm. What else for Libra? What else for Libra? Like I said, Archangel Michael, yeah, he's fighting on your behalf to balance some shit out. Excuse my language. Yeah, you have Archangel Michael by your side. For sure, protecting what's yours. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, he's going to make sure the truth is out. He's going to make sure that justice goes in your favor. Yeah, and things are going to be balanced out. So have patience. Stay balanced. Like I said, keep your energy clean. Just ignore the nonsense and, and stay focused. Anything else? Hmm. We have a thinking man with a broken heart in the bottom. We saw a man twice, so this could be a guy. I'm also getting, maybe, do you guys have a relationship with someone at work? And maybe this is who is trying to, you know, set, you know, sabotage, trying to get you fired maybe. Maybe you walked away from this person. 
But yeah, look at him. He's looking at a crystal, like trying to, I don't know, figure out something here. But there's someone's broken hearted. Let me get just one more from this deck and then we'll move on because <sighs> Libra, like they say, things become harder before the greatness come. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Financial constraint. Look with a man holding a heart. What is happening? I feel like you guys done a lot of work to get out of this financial constraint or maybe this man here is dealing with some financial issues and he want to take you down with him and this is a boss you know either they're trying or they may be thinking about you know firing you i i i don't know i don't know look in the doors <laughs> opportunity again yeah yeah, someone appreciates you. Someone appreciate you. Trust me, your work is not being unnoticed. That's wild. Let's go ahead and get the tarot out. Hopefully I can get towards the kipper because I don't have a lot of time. So what's coming in for Libra? What's your Libra focus? Staying true to yourself. Look at this with the emperor. He's a boss. He's a leader. You're leveling up. You're emotionally intelligent. So it's like maybe they're seeing that you're, you know, your, you know, your feathers aren't being ruffled, you know, by their attempts. But this is you. Oh, excuse me. Creative. Intuitive. You're not falling for that crap. You're not even paying them no attention. You're just focusing on your stuff. We do have an emperor here, like I said. Could be a fire sign. You just you just continue to be your true self. Because look at the turtle in the water. Slow and steady wins the race. Wins the race. Yeah, you just keep focusing on what you're doing. I feel like you really. I feel like you're picking up on what's going on. You have your two angels right there on the chair. See, there's an angel here and here watching over you. You guys are protected. You guys are protected. Your money's protected. Your reputation is protected. Yep. Yep. Definitely about money. Keep working. Keep working hard. See how she's just focused just on her work. She's not focusing on anything else. And this is you continue to work on your foundation, your stability. Right? With the Eight of Pentacles here. You're staying true to yourself. You're staying true to your work. Yeah, she's very focused. She's smart. She's very focused. She knows what she wants. And she's going after it. All those pinnacles are all the obstacles that she overcame. Building wealth. You're building wealth. And whoever this is trying to knock you off, uh-uh. You're too smart for that, Libra. Yeah, there's going to be an ending to that. There's going to be an ending to that. I'm telling you, Archangel Mike already made his presence known. You're protected. Your finances is protected. They're trying to figure out ways to, you know, to keep you from getting your money, your coins. Uh-uh. That ain't happening. <laughs> like I 
said, the will of fortune and the sun. I told you. The will of fortune? Yeah. The will is turning in your favor. The table is being prepared in front of your enemies. I can't make this up. Look at the sun. Look at the light, the the um the white horse. I mean, come on. Yeah. So don't even worry about that at all. You shouldn't. The will of fortune and the sun in the bottom. Mm -mm. That's because you stayed focused. That's because you know you didn't let them run over you, or you didn't let them, you know, just bother you in any way. You see it, you feel it, but you kept on working. You kept on working. What do you think this is? Will of Fortune. Hello. <laughs> mm hmm. Any last messages? <sighs> you know, people love coming for Libras, don't they? <laughs> Unbelievable. Okay, what else, babe? Thank you, Spirit, for your protection, your guidance. What else, Libra? What else for Libra? Yep, hold back. Hold back. With the four pentacles, that speaks of someone, you know, just holding back, holding on to what they have. So just in case it does go that way, just hold on to your money a little bit. You know, don't overspend, watch your budget. You know, but something better is coming. The Wheel of Fortune's here. Something, yeah. If you guys are ready was fired or it does happen something better is coming along something's better is coming along <clears throat> mm. the audacity huh <laughs> i just can't get over it and i knew because earlier this morning it was about work as well like what is going on in the workplace Yeah. Temperance. Yep. Look at the infinity symbol. Your legacy is protected. You learned a thing or two. So now, you know, I'm just getting a feeling like, like, You know, you know when to bring the beast out and you know when to sit back and chill. And I feel like this is you right now. You're chilling. You're balancing things out in your life. And they see that you're not being swayed. You know what I'm saying? Like being bothered by their attempts. Right? Because look at the five of swords in the bottom. Yeah. They try to confuse you. They try to, I don't know, send a negative energy. They could be trying to um, portray, like, their insecurities on you because they're not doing their job. But, yeah. This has to be a boss. With the Five of Swords. Yeah. But look what's coming. Oh, the, Ace of, um, the Ace of Cups. Something new, something that has potential to grow, something that you're going to love doing. It's, uh, man, wow, because look at the impress in the bottom. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they can't take what's meant for you. And if their attempts did work, like I said, something's better is coming with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, let me go ahead and get the kip. I know I don't have a lot of time left. I might go ahead and skip out on the Hungarian Gypsy just in case. So let me just go ahead and pull out a couple more messages from here. And then we'll just keep it moving. But you guys, I don't know, do a do a protection spiritual bath. Protect yourself. Protect your energy. Stay focused. Stay focused on your job. What else for Libra? What else for Libra?
in a distant horizon with child 